somebody's like, oh, how do I optimize? It's like, it, you know, it's like so foreign. Let me show you real quick. A lot of people don't even know these filters exist in Amazon Seller Central. I did a quick video, um, just like a screen cap before this, just to kind of show you guys um, what, what that looks like. And I'll kind of go through and explain it. Okay, so here we go. So if you go up here, you can see there's a filter box, right? So filter by... So here you go. Here's a bunch of the, the options here. You got active status, default bid, impressions, clicks, click. So you can stack these filters, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So, you know, what you want to do is maybe go down to clicks. You want to say, okay, I only want to look at keywords that have gotten more than five clicks. Um, you want to add another filter on top of that. You want to say, I want to only see uh, keywords that are getting, that have an ACOS uh, greater than uh, 1% and less than, I'll go filter by again, hit ACOS again, because I want a top level. And I'll say less than, and you put in like say 30%, I think I did 30% here. Um, so then you'd hit save again, and I'll do 20%. All right, save. And so what that would do is, this is just a test campaign, but that would then filter out and only show you keywords that have gotten at least five clicks, and have an ACOS between one and 20%. Now, why, why do we wanna do this? Well, the reason we wanna do this is because we wanna optimize. So if we're getting, uh, say our target ACOS is 30%, right? And we're getting a, a, an ACOS of say 10%, um, you know, it would now show up in this filter. Then we can go back and we can edit that bid or we can bulk edit the bid on, on the pages uh, that show up. You can click the checkbox that'll select all of it. Um, and then you can adjust those bids. Now you're, you know, if you're, if your target A cost is say 30% and you're getting an a, uh, um, a conversion of 5%, you may want to raise those bids. Um, you know, it depends on what you're, what you're going for, but generally, you know, if, if you're that low, you want to raise your bid because that means you'll get uh, more volume and the more volume, the better you'll do organically. Um, so, you know, that's, that's something to think about. You might, if you're getting a super low A cost, you may want to raise your bid. If you're happy where you're at, um, that's fine. But, um, you know, to me, I would rather get more volume, even if the profit margin is a little bit less, because then you're going to, you know, you're going to really make a huge difference on your organic ranking. So, um, you know, the other things you can do here now is you can say, um, you know, I added another filter, spend more than $5. The reason I'm doing these, let me kind of explain why I do this. So clicks uh, greater than five, you want to make sure that, that this keywords actually had a chance uh, for people to, to, to see it. In other words, to click on it and go to the page. Um, so that's why I have a, a filter of five clicks. If it has less than five clicks, it may not has, it may not have had enough opportunity to actually give enough data. So, you know, if only, you know, two people have seen it and not converted, that's, you know, a, a, a pretty small data set. Now, uh, these are going to vary by, you know, your price point and a lot of different factors. I'm just kind of using this in a, as an example. Um, generally I do from five, anywhere from about five to 10 clicks. If there's been no action after 10 clicks, that's when I really start looking at this keyword to, to start reducing bids on it um, or raising bids on it, depending. Um, and then, and then advertising cost of sales. Of course, we are filtering here for, you know, performing keywords. So these keywords generally, if my target A cost is 30%, um, you know, I'm, I want to filter for my performing keywords and then that way I can raise the bids. Um, and then spend $5. Um, once again, that's going to depend on your, your cost per click. If it's higher, you know, if you're paying like two or three bucks a cost per click, this is going to be um, um, more. I like to say it's 10x of, of what your general cost per click is, um, you know, because then that, that's going to relate to the 10 clicks here. Um, if you don't want to do a spend and just do by clicks, that's another way you can do it too, um, just to keep it easy. Um, so I think that's a bit what I was going to show you. Oh, okay. And then I was just going to show you kind of how this functions as well, where you can go back now and click on that ACOS. So in other words, in other words, that filter that you just created, no, I don't want to high five on the reverse. <laughs> All right. So that, so these ones that you just created, you can go back then and click on them in a second here and then change the data. So if you want to go back and you say, okay, no, now I want to see stuff that's in a cost of you know, less than whatever. Um, you have to do this at the campaign level. This isn't um, available at the um, at the account level, which is kind of a pain in the rear. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that's kind of the basics on how you do filtering in order uh, to see what's performing and what's not performing on your PPC campaigns. Mm -hmm.